I can't even tell you the amount of relief that it provides me to know that I don't have to die the way that it's been described to me that my brain tumor would take me on its own. My goal, of course, is to influence this policy for positive change, um, and I would like to see all Americans have access to the same health care rights. As elected officials, you have the power to make this happen. Please take action. The freedom of death with dignity, it exists because it's a choice. I chose this for myself. I would never sit here and tell anyone else that they should choose it for them. But my question is, who thinks that they can sit there and tell me that I don't deserve this choice? I hope for the sake of um, other American citizens, all these people that I'm speaking to that I've never met, that I'll never meet, that this choice be extended to you, that this right, that we mobilize, that we vocalize, that we start to talk about it. Brittany and I then had that conversation and she was asking, well, you know, is this something that you can do? And. Once we got to that point, then I told her that I would do it whatever I possibly could. Her story, at the end of the day, is not about death and dying. Uh, it's actually about life and living. She took control of how her final days played out on this green earth. Um, and in doing so, um, she made people recognize that we should be talking about um, how, how things will play out for each and every one of us. My name is Dr. Omega Silva. I am an 81-year-old retired physician living in Washington, D.C. with three cancer diagnoses. I believe prescribing medical aid in dying to peacefully end unbearable suffering is consistent with the Hippocratic Oath. On July 30th of 2017, I found out that I had stage four cancer. I want to live and spend as much time as possible with my sweet, loving, kind, and patient wife, Mary. Time is long past to pass this bill. Let's do it for the people like my mother who didn't have the opportunity to choose for herself. I have a glioblastoma multiforme. Every day we have to deal with different symptoms, headaches, back pains, electric shock all over your body, convulsions, seizures. This is a human thing. We all connect uh, uh, with life. You know, we're connected with life and we're connected with death because we're all born to live and we're all born to die. So there has to be some compassion along the way. I'm a retired disabled RN nurse. My diagnosis is small cell lung cancer. It's the most deadly of all lung cancers. I need the lawmakers to act right now because I may not have tomorrow. It is remarkable to see the progress that we have made in the past five years since Brittany Menard shared her story. Year after year, 
we've been able to continue the momentum with new states being added on each year. Brittany is a hero. Her courage is just tremendous. And as a result of her leadership, terminally ill Americans now have access to greater options at the end of life.